Hello, it's Jim Brown here for the Outrig Project in Multi-Hull History with a six-minute portrait of a remarkable multi-hull, the 38-foot Trimoran Mockingbird, designed by Dick Newick. She was built by Lombardi Yachts in Virginia in 2001, and here she is at her launching. Look at the shape of this thing. The crane operator said 6,500 pounds. Talk about a clean machine. Here she is on her first sea trials. Get things sheeted in and straightened out. Her owner is Mr. Stanley Woodward, a very boat-wise individual. He's had boats all over the world. And here's her first tack. That took us out into a gentle breeze, and the next thing we knew, we were romping along at speeds in the mid to upper teens. The boat is easily exceeding the wind speed. She's built out of all foam glass and carbon fiber. And that explains that 6,500 pounds at launching. Less free. But with five people aboard, she's making 18.3 knots with five people aboard. This is a view through the forward cabin window. But now, Stanley's going to throw her into another tack. Round she goes. And when she heads up into the wind and loses speed, you can see that there's hardly any wind at all. But soon enough, we're back up to speed on the port tack, streaking away. Well, let's now have a look at some of the details of this boat. Here she is hauled out in the southern Chesapeake, her home waters, in 2014. This is Stephen Brown, who did most of the building on this masterpiece, and yes, I'm his dad, and he's demonstrating how this amazing rudder will continue to steer no matter to what extent it is kicked up or down, so that if the boat blunders into shallow water, it can steer its way out. There's the folding propeller on a sail drive unit. This looks up at the plow anchor and the telescoping bowsprit cannon onto the foredeck at the stem head fitting and a very seaman-like anchor cat. There is an electric anchor windlass and a below decks chain locker for this critical portion of the boat. A nice big flat foredeck for walking around. A beautiful rotating all carbon fiber mast and boom with a super simple three wire rig. There are no spreaders or diamond stays. There's a very powerful Dacron mainsail with bat cars, easily reefable. And the slot between the sails is wide open. Aft of the cockpit, there's a generous stern deck with easy access to the engine. Well, let's have a look below decks of this sailing machine. This view looks through the companion hatchway into the galley and then forward past the daggerboard trunk in the center to a generous single forward cabin and a generous bunk on the starboard side in the wing. The refrigerator is to the left. There are deep stowage bins over the galley counter. And to the left of the cooktop, we have a through wing multipurpose orifice. Up in the head, there are deep bins for stowage in the wings. And under the cockpit, there's a cavernous storage compartment looking straight back into the engine room. And in the very unlikely event of capsize, this space would be above the inverted water line. One more sweep through the cabin, looking aft, past the galley, the fridge, into the cockpit, and to the foot of the double bunk on the starboard side. Well, let's go for another boat ride on a different day, different water, 
Note the very deep cockpit. Boy, you're not gonna get thrown out of that one, no matter how rough it gets. And who's that gent on the helm? None other than the late, great Dick Newick, designer of this thoroughbred and of so many other famous multi Pretty steady, 9.5. Well, we got a break ten. here. Nice and there's 10. 10.1. Okay, we're in the groove now. I don't think it's blowing 10 knots, and we're doing 10 knots. Fingertip control. I have the firm opinion that Dick Newick has had a more profound influence on modern multi-hull design than any other designer. And I think of this boat and this owner as his career autograph. 18-3. Woo, baby, what a time. But, very sadly, Dick died in 2013 and Stanley Woodward has become almost 90 years old. It's a pretty sporty boat for him now. I think he'd like to find an appropriate new owner. So, if you would like to learn more about Mockingbird or to suggest other noteworthy multi-hulls for our portrait series, please feel free to contact me at the Outrig Project. And meanwhile, Fair winds to the good ship Mockingbird and all of those who sail in her. Bye-bye.